Hey, Pilsen, good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borgen. This is going to be a quick edition of the Ponky Take on the Rochester Americans versus the Utica Comet series of the underdog Amherst, who now have to be, I think, at least sleeper picks with the remaining eight left in the AHL to potentially make it to the Calder themselves after taking down the Comets. They're going to have a tough opponent, though. I'll preview that series later or tomorrow, which is against the Laval Rocket. But they were able to take down the Belleville Senators, in the first round, the best of three, two games to nil. Then they go into Utica, have a tough 6-3 to three loss where they really weren't able to get things going as uh, they would like um, in that game where they were able to obviously have a good game from R2 Rusalainen who was able to get two goals, but then they had four unanswered goals from the Comets and that was kind of all they wrote in that game. But then they were able to bounce back and in OT, uh, faced by all the adversity, they were able to be the team that got the win. Um, Paterka had a three-goal outing. Peyton Krebs had a multi-point effort with three assists. And then Jankowski also opened that scoring just 20 seconds into the contest. Um, so that was good to see. Uh, what's his name? Aaron Dell had a good game as well, and then Paterka was the guy that, of course, scored the goal only 1 minute and 29 seconds into overtime, and then they got back-to-back -back wins, oddly enough, back-to-back 4-3 -back to -three wins in overtime over the Utah Comets, or Utica Comets, excuse me, where R2 Rustalainen then got his league-leading sixth goal, which I think he's still leading the league in Calder Cup playoff goals, which was only 1 minute and 39 seconds into overtime. So there's also funny timing stuff, because if you look at the day before, it was a minute and 29 seconds into overtime on the 14th game that Paterka scored an OT to win it. Then it's literally just 10 seconds later that R2 Roostalainen scored an OT to win it the next day. And that gave them 2-1 to one series lead in the North Division semifinals where um, Krebs and Paterka were great again. Alt, Schultz, and Fitzgerald... Uh, we're, we're good again. The defense of the Amherst, not just defensively, but offensively stepping up. Alt's obviously more of that just solid, simple Eddie defenseman that stays at home and does his business, but Schultz has had a couple nice step-up plays. Fitzgerald is that kind of defenseman. And then McGinnis also being able to get points. So they've been really stepping up for the Amherst as well. Where then they, the Comets were able to bounce back and get a very nice win on the brink of elimination as they took the first game lost the next two, because remember, these are five-game series, and then on the brink of elimination, <clears throat> were able to bounce back when also, though, we have to look at it and say the Amherst did battle back because they were down 4-0 in that third period and then ended up losing 4-2, where R2 Roostalainen, of course, ended up being someone that um, extended his point streak um, as he scored then his seventh goal uh, for there, and then Dell made his fifth straight start, he was fine, but Hauser ended up finishing the contest there. Quinn and Paterka were good again getting the assist, but th that was just a fantastic game by the Utica Comets to be able to bounce back and just be able to get a win b b to not just completely get swept, basically, by the Rochester Americans after you took the first game because for how good and how predicted, this was still not a good series. Like the Comets for this entire series have to get a C grade at best because of how they were favored going in. But then at the same time, I've said this about past videos when I was previewing other series with the Amherst, they are one of the franchises that always strives having these good veterans mixed in with guys that are like your Jack Quinns, like your Paterkas. So you have the Mark Ultra of the world, you have the Jankowskis of the world mixed in with them, and that goes a whole nine yards. And that's exactly what showed up and showed out in the series. Even Mark Alt uh, continuing to have a good series, having an assist in a couple of games, including the clinching game. He and Schultz, again on the back end, experienced defenseman, have assists. And then Krebs as well. Artur Solana Malone and Jankowski all scored in that win. Um, and then Rosick was great, and Casey Fitzgerald was great as well. So the Americans are having all-encompassing scoring. They're having guys that continue to do well each night and each night out, like the Schultzes, the Krebs, the Paterkas of the world, the Roostalinans. But you just keep having other guys mix in and continuously have success. And that's why I think they're going to have a good chance against the Laval Rocket, but I'll save that. For that, this team has been mighty impressive in this postseason. They took down Bellevue, lost the first game, took the next two, 
then ha faced adversity again, the Amherst, because the Utica came out and played a great game on that Tuesday, going up 4 to nothing on May 17th, to then have them be able to battle back. And what happened was, I think they rode, I saw this in the ECHL, I work for the Reading Royals and cover them, but you can ride a hot last period if the team that even wins doesn't have the best closeout. And the Comets didn't have the best closeout on the 17th game, and then on the 19th, the Amherst came in and did really good in that game and just never looked back, were able to rail off four goals, and they got their own 4-2 to two victory, oddly enough, to clinch the series three games to two and move on to face the Laval Rocket. Aaron Dell, also the veteran in cage. Same with Hauser. They got two veterans in cage. So that also makes a difference as well, where obviously the Comets did not have the veteran presence in cage in comparison to the Rochester American. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a recap, a quick recap of the Rochester Americans versus the Utica Comets. As the Rochester Americans were able to upset the Utica Comets, not what many would have had pegged uh, coming into this series, as the Comets were not able to get it done, as neither Dawes or Akira Schmid could get it done enough. Where both are very young, both still have time to develop into great at least AHL goaltenders, don't get me wrong. But in this series, the experience prevailed of the Rochester Americans, and they got it done. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and have a good day.